Welcome to the Deep Dive. We're here to sift through the noise and give you the essential takeaways from the sources you send our way. And today, uh, we're diving into something really fascinating, how AI is making language translation way simpler and, well, more personal too. We're going to be looking specifically at this app called Easy Dubs. It's an AI tool for voice translation and dubbing. Yeah, exactly. And our mission today really is to figure out what this Easy Dubs app actually does. We'll look into the tech behind it, you know, how it works under the hood, and maybe most importantly, what it means for you, for anyone listening who wants to say, quickly understand something from another language or just communicate more easily across those barriers. Okay, so let's unpack this a bit. The basic idea behind Easy Dubs sounds incredibly straightforward, almost simple. You basically take any video or even just an audio clip, you upload it or uh, paste a link, choose the language you want it in, and bam, the app just, oh, it does the rest. Mm -hmm. Automatic translation and dubbing. And it's really fast, too, like surprisingly fast. Right. It collapses that time barrier. Think about getting news or, you know, trends from other countries almost instantly in your own language. But what's really fascinating, I think, is that the tech goes beyond just uh, translating words. It somehow manages to keep your original voice's tone, your style, your cadence even. So it ends up sounding like you speaking just, you know, in French or Japanese or whatever. OK, that is where it gets really interesting. So it's not just a generic voice reading a translation not at all it's sophisticated <laughs> ai voice cloning it learns your like vocal fingerprint from the original audio and then it uses that to reconstruct your voice in the new language it's a huge jump from those uh kind of robotic voices we often hear wow okay and you mentioned it's easy because that's key for a lot of people uh -huh. the description says it's super beginner friendly so no editing skills needed at all. None whatsoever. That's the goal. Make it accessible. Okay, so think about the immediate uses then, like uh, TikToks, Reels. Oh, absolutely. Content creators could reach global audiences instantly. Or even, you know, school stuff. Yeah. If you have a lecture in another language, you could potentially translate it for yourself. Exactly. Or educational materials, making them accessible worldwide. It streamlines a process that used to be really complex and frankly, expensive. Yeah, needing specialists and studios and all that. Right. And connecting this to the bigger picture, the app already supports uh, quite a bunch of languages. Yeah. And you even get different voice styles sometimes, which adds a nice touch. And honestly, from what we've seen, the results are actually pretty natural sounding most of the time. Which is important, right? You want to focus on what's being said, not get distracted by a weird voice. Precisely. Engagement depends heavily on that naturalness. So what does this all mean then? It sounds amazing, but uh, are there any downsides? Is it perfect? Well, perfect is a strong word in AI right now. True. While it's impressive, yeah, it's worth noting some, let's call them limitations. Okay, like what? We noticed, and users report this too, that some voices can still sound a bit robotic. It seems to depend on the language, maybe the less common ones. Uh -huh. And sometimes, you know, really subtle cultural nuances or complex idioms, they might get a bit lost. It's yeah. still translation after all. Right. Context can be tricky for AI. So it's powerful, but maybe not flawless yet. Exactly. It's a tool, a constantly evolving one. Okay. And this raises an important question then. How do you access it? Is it expensive? Ah, the accessibility. Good point. So there's a model where you do need to pay for the full features, mm -hmm. you know, unlimited use, maybe more advanced options. But the free version seems pretty decent. It works fine for casual stuff, trying it out, doing quick clips. So you can test the waters first. Yeah. You can see if it works for your needs before committing, which is always good. OK, cool. So let's recap this deep drive a bit. Yeah. Easy Dub seems like a really simple, pretty effective tool for quick voice translations. It keeps your voice. It's fast. It's easy to use. Definitely seems uh, worth checking out for anyone needing those instant language bridges. Absolutely. And maybe a final thought to leave with everyone. Think about how this kind of technology accessible, voice preserving AI translation could really change things. How we learn, how we share information, how we maybe genuinely connect with people across the globe. What new possibilities does something like this open up for you, maybe in your everyday life or your work or even just your hobbies? That's a great question to ponder. We definitely encourage you to explore those possibilities. And that wraps up this deep dive. Thanks for joining us.